So my beautiful Virgos, welcome to your reading for June. I'm Rena Wells and I'm here to do your love predictions, financial money, energy overview. Just take a look. We're going to just, it's, it is a general. So if you do want details on my readings um, are open for June, my email is down below. So we're going to take a look first at what is going on for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Make sure you look at your north node. It's very important. Um, it tells you the mission and the area, the direction that you're moving into. And we're going to see what's happening in your finances, your life overview, and then what's going on for love. What is going on for Virgo, please, Spirit? What is going on for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get a couple cards and see the overall energy here for Virgo. I feel like I need to get two more. Okay, let's get one more. Wow, Virgo. You are ready to head off in your direction. You're ready to take off is what I'm seeing. Wow, okay. There is definitely something birthing that's very new that is hidden, being hidden by you from the divine. So if you've been feeling <laughs> I've never seen this card before, but it's almost like God is like kind of playing something with your twin flame union. It's like, na 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 na, none of you can see it. I'm just gonna just cover both of your eyes. So this is definitely a bit of twin flame union. If you've been asking a soul connection, um, I don't get that right away with these with these readings because I do ask for financial and foundation. But for a lot of evolved souls that I work with. Um, that comes with your twin flame union. Your karmic justice is your union with your twin to build something in this life. So this is something that's coming for you. So this is going to be more of uh, love and money and you're all the birds and mission and everything else Virgo. Okay. So you are, you and your person are being completely blinded Virgo, completely blinded. You're not seeing anything. That's why you're like, why is nothing happening? Why am I not getting go ahead to do anything? Both of you, if you're not in communication, okay, spirit is telling neither one of you to contact each other. So <laughs> this is how close the mirror is because you're getting ready to birth something. Mother Earth, Gaia, the Earth is bringing together you and your counterpart in a really synchronistic way. I'm also getting the two of you met in a very synchronistic way. Okay, um, and Mother Earth brought you together. So there's something about this that is very synchronistic. So your reunion is going to be even more magical. So even if you, the way that you were able to let that magic go and how you met your person, Spirit is saying, um, yeah, that was just like 2%. So I can't even with this reading. This is potent stuff. Spirit is saying you're ready to move on, Virgo. Okay, you're ready to head off. I feel like this is almost like a scorpion tail. Um, if you look back at it and without the detail, I feel like it's a scorpion. So I'm seeing like death, rebirth, transmission, uh, trans transformation and um, Phoenix rising. It's like the tail has stung both you and your counterpart. And I feel both of your foundations are falling away from each other. Both of you are at exactly the same place. So I feel like your businesses or your work or your foundation, however you thought your world was going to be, all of that is completely starting to fall away because God is in control here. All right, I love, I love this card. I've never seen this card. Look at this face. God's like, nah, nah. and God is very playful with his children, all right, or her children. I, really, I don't want to put gender on it, but it's like the father energy is what's happening. It's creator energy and it's birthing. This is beautiful balance. It's birthing into the feminine energy. She's birthing it. So we have a complete balance of energy that's happening here. And it's, <laughs> it's so funny, Virgo, because it's like the smile. It's kind of like they both, the mass, the mother and the father are both, they both, look at this, I know what's happening, I know what's happening, and nobody knows what's really happening, so you guys are going to be romance into this beautiful majesty um, of paradise and, and love and mission and financial abundance and home life and family. This is about family as well. What I'm seeing here, I'm seeing lots of children. I don't know why this is bringing up children, but this is like if you're merging families together or you're meant to have children together, this is a huge place of enlightenment that's coming in. This is being overseen by your ancestors. This is what I'm, I'm feeling. Both of you, one of you is very psychic and has been able to rise up in that ability. And the other one is connected to the ancestors and has been praying and that their answer, their prayers are being answered. But this is about being watched over over and being able to um, come into a new place of enlightenment. Whoa, Virgo. 
Virgo, Virgo. What is going on here, Virgo? This is really potent energy. This is spirit is very much with you. You've, you've just had some type of new epiphany. You've been having a lot of dreams too. Spirit wants you to write down those dreams, but you've been getting a lot of visions and you're wondering if they're true. Spirit is like, yes, it's true. Um, you've been seeing things, dark things, light things. Um, the dark things you're seeing are catapulting you into something of a higher vibration. You're starting to work in the energies at a very fast, at a fat, much faster rate. So let's see what else is going on for Virgo. So I'm in Rising Venus, please, Spirit. This is obviously a twin flame reading. So this is about everything. We're just not going to separate it. We're going to just read and see everything that is coming up here. You and your person, okay, with this mission, okay, it's serendipitous. It's always ha It always has been, okay? It's, um. oh, my God, if you know that movie called Serendipity, is it Serendipity? Um, where they meet at Christmas time. Oh my God, I love that movie. Um, but it's something like that, okay? That it's just magical and you're letting the universe just romance you both and you both have come into this place of complete surrender. So you guys are at a reunion stage, okay? You don't know when the magic's gonna happen, how the magic is gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. So this is um, lucky. This is a four-leaf clover. This is serendipitous. This is magical. Um, this is to, you know, you've been asking, why is this not happening? Spirit is saying, this is why it's not happening. It's because I can't tell you how I'm going to surprise you. So you've had to question a lot in your life, Virgo. You've had to look at, um, these came out together actually. So that why came out. Yeah. The, sorry, this came out after the why. So we'll get back to the why. Um, Spirit is saying the serendipitous moments are happening mainly because um, you have a higher stat stature here in the collective. Okay, you're a trailblazer. You're moving things along. And when you're a trailblazer, you're ahead of the collective. You're the forefront. You're the person that has to go through some of those hardest trials. And it is not a place of um, want. Like, if you have a lot of people want to be a leader, but they have a lot of ego about that and saying, I'm highly evolved. If you're saying you're highly evolved, you're not really that evolved. Like, we are always learning. But when I say that you're a new leader, it's like you're humbled in that evolved state. And you're like, yes, I can see where humanity is or the rest of the consciousness is. And I'm humbled to be able to be at this place of being a leader, of being a trailblazer. It's never a place of um, judgment either, okay? Um, you just say it how you feel it and you let it go. And that's that's the true path of, of a leader. And Spirit is saying you've been able to... Um, recognize that you have something that's that is this poised energy so they need you to be flexible and you are being flexible you're surrendering to this so there is a gift is what i'm getting that's coming you may you have been asking why but that's because there is a change in the wind that is happening in your path for both you and your person for your life okay virgo this is not something that you're going to be like you know getting with your person and having a picket fence and doing nine to five and coming home after work and, and do it. That's not what it is. This is like huge. Okay. This is like, we hit that contract. We can now work with, you know, these high educational institutes or these academies, and we can actually infiltrate the education system and bring a new state of consciousness and lead new programs to uh, replace systems that are falling. And that's what's happening with COVID right now. Systems are falling. So this is a high intelligence, um, grounded and spirit, uh, energy and spirit saying that's what Virgo is. It's Mother Earth. It's birthing something new. So you are the Virgin Mary in, in a sense, right, um, of the Divine Mother. And so this why, let's get some more clarity about this why. You've been really questioning when this is going to happen. The spirit is saying uh, you can't question it. There's a deep knowing here. I want to pull that card of why this is happening. You have to follow your deep knowing that this is going to be mending bridges. This is about your connection, okay? This is a twin flame connection. Very much a twin flame connection. Now you can say high level soulmate. This is a twin flame connection, okay? Um, there's just a deep knowing. So when you ask why, you're immediately met with like, oh yeah, okay, I get it. Like I can't even question that because it's not even a why anymore. It's like, oh yeah, spirit has it. We're being um, guided completely together and this is just how it is. So I just need to just chillax and um, you're ready to go, right? You're ready to go. Let's see what some tarot comes up for you. 
This is for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, Spirit. What is going on with Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And North Node. What is going on with Virgo? What is going on with the Virgo? So this is about everything. Your foundation is changing. Your money is going to change. Your love life is going to change. Your location is going to change. Everything is going to change. Okay? Um, this is a massive catalyzing soul connection. Okay? We have Queen of Wands with the Emperor. Wow. Okay? There's a lot. This masculine is coming forth for this Queen of Wands. Okay? definitely accessing and actioning this divine feminine energy this masculine is taking control and look at this spirit is bringing this up you see how she's got the sun up here she's connected to the masculine energy and he has birthed this new ball of light and so he's holding his feminine in his hands and the feminine is knowing the enlightenment she's getting is from the masculine energy wow this is really beautiful this is really beautiful. So divine feminines, you've got to chillax a little bit. Allow this to happen. Move forward in your life. Keep doing what you're doing. This is a very high level connection. When you ask why and you question, know that the change is happening to bring a mending together in a deeper knowing to finally bring in a brand new path. Get curious about your path. Get curious about the downloads that you're getting. Okay. Action those things. Okay. Um, discover more things about your gifts and work on that because the more that you do that we have the ten of cups here with uh, the old foundations are breaking away to bring in this happiness okay old foundations okay so if there's karmic energies or well, again uh, an old place that you were living you know um drastic sometimes drastic changes have to happen to bring in a high this very high potent type of connection and uh for that ten of cups to come in old foundations have to break apart old types of relationships have to fall apart old family patterns have to go away um in order for this mending to happen so this asking why and this mending these bridges is going once you do that and you have this deep knowing and trust and faith and you keep moving forward things are going to happen very quickly your communication is definitely going to be coming in especially in june i feel that there may be some type of um communication for some of you but not all of you because this is what i'm getting is spirit is the one that's you're both being blinded to the holiness right now you're going to be both pleasantly surprised and um yeah you have to move through your own financial instability Keep working on your endeavors. Keep pushing forward. Keep doing where you know spirit is guiding you. Start researching things. If you're having ideas, start gathering that information. I keep hearing like research and development. You may have to research uh, policies, politics, processes, procedures, business planning. Um, you have to start looking into that and start putting some certain things together. Um, and you have to research your field a little bit, okay? Because you've been prepped for your field and the energies, but it's grounding now. So whatever you're getting pulled to do is this higher intelligence here that's coming through to ground it. See how the ancestors are watching, but you have to build these pyramids as well, Spirit is saying. And to do that is like you got to start doing that research. So Spirit's like, get moving on your path here. Don't fight it anymore, okay? It's not going to go the way that you think it's going to go, ever. That's why they, God knows you. So you're not going to just stop juggling anything right now. Don't juggle anything right now in June, okay? Because Spirit is like, I know you so well, and I know your thought process. So if you think, oh, if I do this, then this, then maybe this will happen. And Spirit's like, no, I've already covered all of your thought processes. I created you. So don't think that you can pull one on me because spirit is saying this is a surprise i keep seeing the gift card so i'm going to pull out this um kipper's deck here let's take a look what is going on for virgo sun moon rising and venus please spirit and north node and you can't make up i want to just say okay there are a lot of people that talk about sacred unions and stuff out there this is the holiness of it okay like, I know this one person is, like, running some type of... I'm not trying to put other people down, but it's just it's just something I came across. I don't even know this person, but it came across in my feed that talking about a union thing that's happening in Arizona or something. And I'm just like, 
it was so about compromising human energy and it's fine those are for souls that are there but you guys are a highly evolved soul that you don't need this compromising energy this is why spirit has you both in a surrendered state to come in a real divine union you don't have to work and compromise with your twin it's going to be so magical and so synchronistic yes there's always going to be grounded work when you birth and labor anything you got to push hard you got to have faith in the path but that's why this mending is happening. That's why so many changes have happened. That's why it's been such a hard path so that this gift can come forward. Wow. This is a holy marriage that's coming together. Okay. Spirit wants you to know that this is a holy marriage that was destined in the stars. And nobody can take that away from any of you. Okay, Virgo? Yeah, a decision has been made because you've both been distraught. Spirit has come in and has taken control of this between two people here, okay? God has come in because you're both surrendered. You've both met each other in court. You're both here, okay, ready for God's judgment. Um, you've both been miserable without each other. So that's just a validation of what is happening here. Let's take a look at your love life. This is going to be a photo. Okay, let's, uh, okay, let's first pull for finances. Spirit is saying... Your finances are going to, everything's going to improve. So they're not even giving me much on that. I'm not getting a lot of details right now because this is definitely a surprise. You're going to be, however you were pulled to meet each other, wherever um, you, how you met. And I don't know how you met. For me, mine was in, in Mexico. I met my twin in Mexico. So I'll just tell you that. Like I was just pulled to go to ayahuasca all of a sudden. It wasn't something that I was planning. It was on a whim. It was just a feeling. It's going to be like that. Spirit's going to be like, yeah. You just need to go to the supermarket and boom, it happens. Okay. So you're in a place, you're both in a place oops, of completely receiving. Sorry if you hear that. Let's see what about finances and foundation spirit. If there's any other messages here about finances and foundation, but it definitely has to do with, what did I say about a domestic harmony that's happening in new beginnings? So that's what I was saying. That's just validation. So let's get into the love part. So this is what came up, okay? New beginnings in a new domestic harmony. Marriage, children, families coming together. Beautiful. Um, let's take a look at you and your divine counterpart. What is going on here for Virgo, please, Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Twin flames in separation right now. What is going on in June? So it's going to change everything, guys. Foundation, money, all of that. Calling, mission. Even if you have a platform, all of that's changing. So don't be afraid. Um, spirit is romancing both of you into it in a really beautiful way. What is going on for Virgo, Sun, Rising, and Venus? Okay, so this is going to be completely worth it. You both have had to go through a purification process, okay? Do you see this? You have uh, people coming out of the fire here, okay? And you've had to walk through this dark night, both of you, to come into this place of union. It's worth it, okay? This type of love is worth it. I want to talk to you, but I'm afraid. So both of you want to speak to each other. There might still be some fear about what this is about. But again, some of you will be getting um, communication in regards to this. And there's going to be massive amounts of abundance that comes from this connection. Oh, wow. Yeah. Talk to me about the communication here, Spirit, for my viewers. I know that's something that they want to know. This person's afraid. But how are you guiding it, God? They're, they're strengthening the person, okay, to end karmic cycles, the karmic wheel. Okay, they're going to gain the strength in order to do this if communication is supposed to come in. Okay, so there's still like an ending or something that's happening here karmically. That's their fear, but that was just their fear. Okay, they want you to know this is night and day. This is sun and moon, right? Energy, masculine, feminine, right? That you are my soulmate. So definitely going to be communication coming in once this person, person has enough strength. Wow, Virgo, this is really amazing. I'm just looking at the time on your reading here. Yeah, amazing. Let's see what's going on with the island time for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and the Venus for June. Wow, Virgo. So this is an all-encompassing reading. This is everything that's meant to be for you. It's happening. Really beautiful. What is going on for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Yeah, there may have been a breakup here. I'm going to take these as they came along. Okay, 
yeah, you both had to move on, okay? There was a moving on from old energies, okay? We have the phoenix rising, seduction, and a breakup. There may have been, a, there was a breakup. Somebody may have been seduced out of this connection. It may have been karmic energies, okay? This is the karmic wheel that was showing up, but there was a breakup. Someone was seduced, but there's definitely um, a healing and a rising up, okay? A new phase, a rekindle, renewal, transformation, growth, and a changed mind, okay? Uh, somebody, there's a third party interference that caused a breakup in this connection, but this is a holy matrimony and you cannot break apart what God puts asunder. Like you just can't, can you give us more info for Virgo, please for June about this, this connection, their life, their mission with you spirit that already little, but we know that you're trying to, um, surprise them. Can you give us a little bit more? They're like, that's enough right now. That's enough. I can't take all of this. All right. They're saying, stop it now. This is the end of the runner stage. If your person was running, whoever ran away from this, that's the end. It's transformed now. They want you to know that because there's a massive shift that's happened here. And this is pure abundance coming in for you, Virgo. I'm so happy for you guys. Let me know um, if that's resonating for you. If you want to get more details about your situation, hit me up. Email me for a reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you like this. And I'm sending you so much love, you guys. I can't wait to hear the comments on this reading. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.